there. I'm Ian Warner and this is a special episode of a friendly chat about. <laughs> ranty as such. I mean, these are just, uh, assuming this will be a series, within the series, these are just little things that piss me off about um, role-playing games in general and sort of my image as a designer, and I thought I'd uh, start off with the obvious one, and that is explaining exactly what role-playing games, proper role-playing games, are. Um, the problem is, um, back in the sort of the dawn of role-playing games, the 70s, the 80s, even the early 90s, computer games were shit. There was no way that um, people could confuse the two. Nowadays, um, because they've become so popular, computer games, although they're still shit, um, have kind of eclipsed the proper role-playing game stuff. Um, and I'm just going to take a little time to explain the differences between the two and why I think um, tabletop role-playing will always be superior to computer playing, no matter how advanced you make computers. And um, how this niche hobby should really get a renaissance and really, really come back, because we fucking need it, frankly. <laughs> For the purposes of this explanation, I shall be using two examples. An um, example of a video game, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's actually classed as a video role playing game, but it's got certainly got role playing elements. Something I picked up in a pound shop. You are empty. Yes, it's uh, zombies in the Soviet Union. It appeals to me, but. I'm not sure about anyone else. But, um, and for an example of a proper role playing game, I shall look at my own Doxy. Now I am well aware that, um, yeah, I am using something that I've written and comparing it to something that somebody else has done, but I haven't written any computer games, and uh, um, of the games that I haven't written that I own, I can't think of a uh, better example of my various points than Doxy. So we'll we'll stick with it for now. Okay, we're going to go through the examples, look at various different um, facets of uh, how, uh, how a game works and how a game's played. Um, so let's get going. Now I'll admit um, proper role playing games uh, kind of fall down on this point because of the fact you do need to put some effort in something that's uh, not very popular these days. What you need for a game like You Are Empty is the disc, this one. And you just need to shove it in your computer, install it, and get playing. Uh, obviously you need to have the right specs, you need to, but that's about it. With a proper role playing game, what you need to do is, um, you need to get down with a group of friends, or decide who's going to run the game, or be the games master, and, um, yeah, you need to, um, Writes, it says, um, write up your characters, so put some background material together for your characters and of course create the character or the character sheet, fill in the character sheet, which um, is not as difficult as it sounds. Basically um, all games have a system that guides you through the elements of your character that will affect the system, affect it. Um, and yeah. So your various statistics will determine how good you are at various things. Um, that's your basic sort of difference. Setting up is a lot more difficult to do because you need to actually have some friends 
um, and go out and get get together all in one place at one time, which is the main problem with organising these things, as I well know. Um, and yeah, you need to get this, get your group together and draw up your character sheets before you can begin. Now, some games you need a plot. Doxy, you don't. Seriously, it's uh, it's uh, totally free form um, and. Uh, that's unusual. I will get onto that later. So how do you play these games? Um, with a computer, again, it's simple. You're simply um, watching the screen and your whatever character moving around on the screen. You mash buttons until they manage to kill something or whatever. Um, but um, with uh, role-playing games, it's slightly different. What you have is, with your character sheet, you have a series of statistics. Um, depending on the system, these statistics um, have different effects. Um, but generally, you have a statistic as a kind of, yeah, I'm this good. And then you have the elements of chance in the dice. Um, I personally prefer games that only use six-sided dice, but there are others with wacky polyhedrals. So, um, well, um, uh, twenty-sided, four-sided, twelve-sided, all sorts of uh, strange combinations of uh, polyhedral objects. But uh, that's beside the point. The point is, you roll the dice as a randomizer to determine because you can always fail. Um, it's not like certain computer games, with, well, certain glitched computer games, if you just keep hitting hard enough for long enough, you automatically win. Um, but um, with a proper role-playing game, there's always a chance every role can fail. You can completely screw up. Um, and I think this is a good thing um, for the purposes of storytelling. Um, and drama, um, because you're all you're in your role, and you're always at risk of screwing up, um, even if you are the best, um, which is quite sort of humbling. And compared with say, we've just got a health bar in most sort of computer role playing games, um, so that's your only thing. But with um, with uh, regular role playing, normal proper role playing games, you have um, all sorts of consequences, not just death, that can um, really put a downer on your day. And um, yeah, that's that's the central strength of um, proper role playing games um, in gameplay terms. Let's move on. <laughs> Now this is the big winning point. Seriously. In a computer game, I've heard computer game reviewers like Angry Joe um, complain about, oh, this game's on rails. Well, to a proper role player like me, every bloody computer game is on rails. Um, you, you have a set plot, even if you've got loads of side quests and um, sort of ways you can get off the channel, you've got a set plot and you follow it. Um, and uh, the exception of things like sports games where you do have some some kind of decision making but then again it's still limited um, you don't have the freedom that you have with a human games master and that's the thing when you've got a creative person running a game who can send you off on tangents and send you into and sort of react to how you're acting and you've got that freedom of action to act even in a game that does have a plot, it's not like Doxy, it does have a plot, um, you've got so much freedom of action, it is incredible. I mean, um, recently on the 2GM's One Mic podcast, they were going on about their inglorious bastard Star Wars game, and the fact that they managed to um, ruin the Games Master Nikki's plot in the first episode. 
and she had to completely redo everything she had planned for the whole series based on the events of the first episode. You could never have that in a, even in MMOs these days, they have these um, on rails plots that even if you do, you can spend your time interacting with other people and um, just doing that side of it, but you're never going to get powerful enough to be able to take them on unless you do the big quests. And you do the big quests, they're all on rails and they're all following the same story over and over again. And yeah, computers are never going to be smart enough to to come up with this, or well, I don't think they'll ever be smart enough to be able to do what a human can, and that is come up with an evocative story that um, you as a group can. It's not just the games master. I mean. Doxy makes the Games Master almost useless because you have complete freedom of action. There is no plot. You have a certain number of actions each. You've got two actions a night and you do what you you do what you like or who you like in case of some Doxies. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the that's my central point. You, you don't have that freedom in computer games, and I don't think you ever will have that freedom in computer games. Um, short of some very advanced AIs, I can't see it happening. And I can see, if we're lucky, um, proper role-playing last, lasting way, way into the future. I mean, unless they do come up with some AIs that actually can handle this kind of stuff. I can't see the Games Master becoming an endangered species, let alone an extinct one. Okay, uh, we've uh, had a nice little chat here. I think the central point of my thesis stands, which is <laughs> thesis, um, with proper role playing, you have a a group created story that is just impossible with a with a computer one person on a computer one against a computer program with a preset story is never going to be the same as getting together with a group having a few drinks if you're that way inclined and a good laugh um making a making a good plot up um and ruining your games master's evening <laughs> which is uh, part of the fun. Um, but yeah, um, obviously I'm a bit biased. I write role-playing games. Um, you, if you're a computer gamer, I'd like to hear from you. Comments below. Um, also below there's links to my latest game, Doxy, um, which is out today. And of course, um, links to various um, blogs um, the various blogs I run, and yeah, I um, I'm pretty solid in this opinion that proper role playing has a long time to go yet, and I really, really, <laughs> I think the word yeah, evangelize is probably the right word, because I want to spread this this sort of good news that there is this way you can get together, you can be imaginative and you can have a bloody good time with your friends. And I do enjoy computer games. I mean, I've got UR Empty. I know I've got it at the pound shop, but that's beside the point. I've got UR Empty. I'll play it at some point. And it's... Oh, I think I've played it. Um, but um, it, it's just not the same as getting together with a group of friends, playing a bunch of bonkers characters, um and um yeah it's it's a whole different aspect and i really suggest that if you haven't already tried out proper role playing get together with a group of friends somebody volunteer to be games master and uh see see where you go what happens um i'm sure there's role playing groups in the area if you don't want to um jump jump into it um, without any uh, prep, but um, yeah, just go for it people, go for it. <laughs>